I have had conversations with the Lord about you for a long time. Before we met, I would pray for you, beg him to tell me who you were, and laugh with the Lord about all my weird idiosyncrasies you would have to deal with one day. I would sit down and write ridiculous lists of what I wanted my husband to be like, and you are nothing like what those lists said. <laughs> <laughs> but as I was writing my list, the Lord was writing one of his own. He knew the type of person I would need to mold me to be more like Christ. That's what's on his list for me. That's the list that matters. And that's the list you exactly match. You're loud and fiery. You're stubborn and have road rage. You make me do hard things like parallel park the car by myself and open your hydro flask that you've tightened so much that diamonds are probably somehow forming from the pressure seal. Hard things like believe in myself. God knew I'd need a trustworthy challenger. When I met you, your charm and wit wooed me onto a first date. It was your gentleness, yes, gentleness, that led me to be your girlfriend. Your consistent loyalty and genuine, genuineness made me your fiance. Led me to say yes today to being your life partner. I'm not a big fan of making big decisions. And after salvation, your biggest decision I've had to make who to spend the rest of my life with. I'm here today to declare that my old list was foolish and um, I'm going with the Lord's list. I have made a downright exceptionally superior dynamite decision standing here today and I love you. I've I'm just, you know, pray that uh, the Lord would uh, protect them and cover them and uh, just keep the strength and strong hedge around them. Just being able to look at you all dressed up and so beautiful and just see how much you've grown and see how much you've changed throughout the years. God has done so many amazing things in our lives so much to me and I'm so glad that you found somebody that I have no doubt will take care of you. We're holding you in prayer. It's not an easy thing, but it's a beautiful thing and it's worth fighting for. So we had this huge big old rock in our backyard. So what she used to do when she was about two and a half years old, she'd take all her clothes off, scale the top of the rock and sit there and then sit there and go, Mama! She would, we could not keep clothes on until she was five. So we're glad that she's keeping her clothes on now. We're really happy to meet Ben and um, I love him so much. We're so blessed. We're just looking forward to a wonderful life with the both of them. They're beautiful. Cece, I just want to say thank you for loving my boy. This prayer request to the God Almighty of the universe has been constantly been on my mind and you made that prayer come true. So thank you for loving my boy. Congratulations and welcome to the family. We love you, we love you for Benny and Cece.
It took me a while to say these words to you. I wanted to be sure. I've always been standoffish about expressing emotions. The more personal, the more cynical and closed off I can get. So when I wanted to say them, I held off, I was worried. But when I did say those words, I knew, I knew I was committed. Those three heavy single syllable words carried the weight of a life commitment. I love you are the words that bear the weight of my promises, of my vows. To hold you after a long, hard day and to cheer you up with my stellar jokes. To be always willing for spontaneous dance parties, to listen first, to trust you completely, to not complain about how long it takes you to exit the car, to love you like Christ loved the church, to pray with you daily, and to surprise you because I'm unpredictable. To give you my life, to give my life for yours, to stargaze, and through words, gifts, and the dishes, I always try to communicate my love in every way that I can. I'm rarely sure about anything, but I'm sure about you. You are a blessing. Cecilia Rose, I love you, and I will always love you, always.